Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going over what's new in makeup. We can have a conversation in the comments about what companies are coming out with this week. I am pulling from a couple of different Instagram accounts. If you want to see what's new, just keep watching. Kylie Cosmetics is dropping some new plumping glosses. These are going to be an Ulta exclusive. It is a comfortable, fuller, ultra shiny pout. Smooth and comfortable texture leaves behind a sheer wash of color. They are retailing for $17. Kylie has been dropping some stuff lately. I have not tried anything from Kylie Cosmetics since the liquid lips. Let me know, have you tried these? Are they worth grabbing? Will you be grabbing them? I'm gonna give a pass for now. Besame Cosmetics, these are split pan eyeshadow duos with shades that are based on cosmetic colors that date back more than 100 years. Buildable and easy to blend, two finishes, matte and shimmer. They will retail for $24. I am interested. I'm not sure what type of quality they are, but they are very cute packaging. I don't know. Have you tried Besame Cosmetics? I know they had a Maryland, uh, Marilyn Monroe set that Emily Noel did, and I think she had good things to say about them. I'll think about that. That is catching my eye. Looks like Prada is coming out with Prada Beauty. There is no additional information at this point. It just says coming soon. I'll be curious to see the prices on those. <laughs> Next we have from the company Merit, a Bronze Balm Sheer Sculpting Bronzer. Five different shades, goes from fair to deep. Lightweight cream formula, oval shape, makes it easy to apply with precise strokes. These are gonna retail for $30. And everything that I've mentioned so far is available now except for the Prada Beauty. Now the Merit, what's exciting is they actually reached out to me and asked me what shade I would like. So there's never a guarantee that you're going to get PR from a company, but I'm very excited to see if I will be getting one of these shades. I'm very interested in cream bronzer sticks. You know I have quite a collection and I've not tried anything from Merit. So I might hold off and see if I get it in the mail. But let me know if you've tried anything from Merit and if it's worth me trying. Melt has come out with an ultra matte bronzer. Buildable ultra matte powder formula blends like a cream, effortlessly melts into your skin, no patchiness or harsh lines, instant smooth and sunless warmth in four shades, $39 each, light to dark. Packaging looks beautiful. Melt, the only thing that I have for Melt was one matte lip that I got as a sample from Sephora, and I will say that I absolutely love it. These look gorgeous. We're gonna have to go over the bronzers at the end and decide which one I need to have. <laughs> I like the fact that it says ultra matte because that tells me that it's going to be smoother. That is a definite maybe. Charlotte Tilbury is introducing a new translucent airbrush powder. So she has different shades, but I'm assuming she's never had a translucent. The packaging looks gorgeous. I do own her airbrush powder, I believe in the shade light, but it's really nice that they're coming out with the translucent version. Maybe it will blend across skin tones or if you don't want to add color. I don't need it. Tom Ford is coming out with a white suede collection. This is a sneak peek. It's an eye and cheek palette. There is a lip color in a satin matte, two different shades it looks like, white suede shade and illuminate cushion foundation. So these are coming soon. I own one Tom Ford palette. I've never even played with it on camera. I do like it. I like it a lot, but it's not my normal, you have to wonder sometimes if you love it based on the name, right? I know that's totally wrong, but I bought it because I wanted to have a Tom Ford shadow, but does it knock my socks off? It doesn't. You know what it reminds me of? The, um, if you own any Kiko Milano shadows, I only own one palette, but it's like that baked formula. 
So it's very soft, it's very smooth, it's very easily blendable, but not super punchy. So I'm curious, do you have a Tom Ford eyeshadow shadow palette? Uh, are they all the same? I'll have to post a picture of the one that I have. Uh, or if you're interested in a video showing me applying the Tom Ford quad that I do have, because it is still current, I can show that. These look beautiful, but I am not so blown away by the formula that I would want to spend what I would imagine definitely over $100 for this one. So pass on that. Next we have a new collection from IT Cosmetics, your favorite heart-shaped makeup brush. It's $30, it's a holographic heart and it has glitter that floats beautifully in the iridescent water-filled handle. Prismatic eye brush set, $39.50 with textured iridescent handles. Prismatic face brush for $50. I've never owned an IT Cosmetics brush and I do love brushes but I also have some really affordable brushes. My most expensive brushes are from Wayne Goss and Refer, so let me know if I need these IT Cosmetics brushes. Here's probably the one that's going to cause the most buzz. Natasha Denona is coming out with a new My Dream collection. There's the My Dream eyeshadow palette, My Dream blush and highlighter palette, lipsticks, lip liner, and gloss. It just says coming soon. It looks to me like it is a mini palette, so it'll probably be at the $67 price range. These colors, I'm not sure that this color story speaks to me, if I'm being truly honest. The color on the top left at the picture that you're looking at, it looks like a duochrome, which is very pretty. But purples, I have to be really careful with purples. Let me know if you are the same as me. Sometimes I put purple on my eyes and I think it makes me look very tired. I think it's the reddish purples. And this one looks like it's got a few of those, one, two, at least three of those darker red purples. The other colors look really pretty. I love that it looks like there is a matte black in there. There is a gold in there. I don't know. I am conflicted. This is a strong maybe. The cheek palette doesn't excite me. The lipsticks I don't see. Oh, here's the picture. I would need to see are they the matte lipsticks because I do really enjoy my I Need a Nude from Natasha Denona. I have the Sammy shade that is beautiful. Let me know what you think about this palette. It might be one that I need to see more pictures of. There is a new brand coming to Sephora. It looks like it's pronounced, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, Colfi. Main Match Crease Proof Long Wear Hydrating Concealer, $26. Underlined Kajal Clean Waterproof Long Wear Eyeliner. Very curious. Are you excited about a new brand coming in? Have you heard of it? Have you ever, I'm sure that they have their own website. Let me know if you know anything about Colfi. So I'm going to pass on that for now. Here is another big one. Urban Decay is coming out with a new palette. This is a collaboration with Marvel Studios. It is the She-Hulk Collection. Eyeshadow palette, 13 shades. They also have a mini eyeshadow palette in six shades. This is coming August 22nd on their website. I do not see a price. That blue and white in the corner on the big one, that looks really cool. And I love the bigger green in the center. We are talking about She-Hulk here. <laughs> are you going to see that movie? I am very curious about it. I am a big Marvel fan. I love Marvel. I love DC. I love all the movies. I'm an Iron Man. He's definitely my favorite. <laughs> The palette looks beautiful. I know I love the pan sizes. I have been a good girl if you're watching my chopping block series. The Urban Decay Naked Honey is on my chopping block and I do not like the pan sizes. I don't like those skinny pan sizes for some reason. It's just visually not exciting to me. So I notice that they have the circles. So number one, there is a plus. Number two, I have the Marvel Eternals palette. I did a really fun video with that palette and I have used it since even though it like folds out like a collector I almost don't want to use it but it's got very good quality so I am highly tempted by this one. Lawless is coming out with the Daisy Birthday collection. I love the colors 
in this, that, that popping pink blush. I've not tried anything from Lawless. The only thing that stops me from picking this one up is that it is limited edition. But let me know if you are interested in that. Kathleen Lights, we just talked about, I just talked about how I picked up her polishes last week in the Lights Lacquer. She's coming out with, not only is she coming out with press-ons, but she is also coming out with lip lacquers. Very smart, Kathleen. Do we have shades here? Yes. Alyssa is a soft pink mauve. Miss Honey is a honey nude with a pink undertone. Das Suspensive, I love that. That is too cute. Is a warm champagne with pink and gold glitter. <laughs> that is very cute. I do not see prices. They are available August 18th at 9 a.m. Iconic London, super smoother, blurring skin tint. Lightweight, ultra hydrating skin tint that delivers a blurred and flawless satin matte second skin long wearing finish for up to 12 hours. There's also the underglow blurring primer. Uncover your natural radiance with our must have for fresh faced, smooth, flawless looking skin, our soft focus radiant underglowing blurring primer. You can also get a bundle. I am not interested. ColourPop just launched their new graphic ink liners in 10 different shades. They feature extreme color payoff with flexible precision tip that moves effortlessly for the sharpest, sleekest lines ever. Colored liner is really not interested. I'm not one that does a lot of graphic liner. I'm very curious. I can't wait to see reviews and see some of the creators that are into that. I would love to see what they can do. And even if it comes in black, you know, I am so, I have a difficult time with liquid liners. I do have my Essence Lash Princess liquid liner on today, but very simple on the edge. Tell me if you like my very simple makeup. I don't even have foundation on today. I have this brand called Kim Yu's right here. This is a, this is found on Amazon. They sent me some concealers. I just did a TikTok using these. They sent me three different shades. So I used the lighter shade under my eyes and then I used the deeper shade underneath my bronzer to sort of cut that out a little bit. I did a little bit in my smile lines and then I just tapped the excess like around my nose and around my forehead. So basically this is concealer and foundation and I do like the way my skin looks. I will have everything that is on my face listed in the description box below. The brand Say just launched their new Lip Blur Soft Matte Hydrating Lipstick. Clean matte lipstick that's long wearing, shine free and hydrating. Lip Blur is packed with a blend of nourishing ingredients including hyaluronic acid, olive oil, jojoba esters and berry fruit wax to condition lips and blend in seamlessly. I have one product from Say, it is a highlighter. Uh, liquid highlighter that I will be testing out in Saturday's video. So I don't know much about this brand, but lip products, I have so many lip products, it has to really turn my eye. Turning my eye? Catching my eye? <laughs> I'm gonna say pass. That is everything. What is exciting you the most? I will tell you what is exciting me the most. The Urban Decay She-Hulk, the Natasha Denona My Dream, palette. I'm crossing my fingers that I will get that Merit Cream bronzer. You know, I am a baby channel and I just want to thank any and all of you that are subscribers and continue to come back and visit with me and see my growth. I am more than halfway there to the point where this could potentially be a lucrative business right now. I'm just a mama with a dream. So thank you so much to those that are supporting. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button before you leave. I do try new makeup. I have videos where I am pushing myself to use makeup that I haven't been using. I do have an extensive collection. I have a hard time getting rid of things. <laughs> I love all things makeup. So consider subscribing. I would love to have you join me. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Of course, if you had fun chit-chatting about the new makeup, don't forget to comment because I love that. Give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.